70 years old male with a history of uh, vague abdominal pain, no vomiting, no co absolute constipation. Here I'm showing you the pancreas in longitudinal section. This is the pan body of the pancreas. And uh, in between you will see a tubular structure, fine, that is the duct of the uh, this is the duct, this is superior mesenteric vein. Now why I'm showing this is that as I uh, move towards the, probe towards the uh, left hypochondrium, the distended bowel segments Now see, this is the excuse me. This is the iliosus muscle, this one, and these are the bowel, distended bowel segments, and you see they show hostrations. These are the hostrations that you are seeing within the distended bowel. You will see the movement of the food material. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Now, as I move, now I'm going to move the probe from the uh, right hypochondrium, as left hypochondrium, down longitudinally and you can see the dilation of the uh, bowel segments all along the uh, left side. Here you see. Now I am in the region of the right lower abdominal quadrant and you can see the dilated bowel segments with full churning movements within it. Here you see gas. This is all food churning movement of the food material. And this is the bowel segment. This is the other bowel segment. And if you note, there is fluid between the two segments. That I will show you later on. Now, now I am in the lower abdominal segment on the left side there and here it terminates into normal. Starts from the lower abdominal segment. Now these segments are normal. These lower segments are normal and here it starts the pathology starts from here and then now I'm going in the opposite direction I'm going to move the probe uh, to the from the lower abdominal quadrant this is the lower abdominal quadrant and now I'm moving the probe upwards straight upwards up to the left upper abdominal quadrant and left hypochondria. Here it terminates. The bowels on the right side are normal. Only these bowels on the left side showing hostrations food material are dilated. There you see, these are distended bowel segments.
Das was the These are two distended bubble segments in transfer section. And there is fluid between them, see? This is the uh, one segment of the bowel, another segment. Now this is small amount of interloop fluid, this is fluid. Which we uh, label as interloop fluid. Now let's scan with 7 megahertz, 7 megahertz linear probe. as it gives a better picture. Now you see the bowel segments with this. These are dilated bowel segments, the same that I was showing you initially. Here. The bowel layers are clearly seen. Uh, bowel wall, sorry. Bowel wall is seen. Let me get a better picture first. the lumen of the bowel, the serosal layer, the mucosal layer, sub uh, the propria, lamnia propria and the outer uh, outer layer of the uh, wall of this uh, distended segment by use 5.8 normal is up to 5 and uh, to this in this segment we see a lot of uh, arising here I am in the in the lower abdominal quadrant Note the movement of the bubble. Giving a sweep to the probe. To show you frustrations. See the frustrations. These linear linear structures, these are frustrations. There is no evidence of uh, sacrilosing phalangitis. The gallbladder is surgically removed in this patient. And uh, here we are. Now this is a case of uh, Inflammatory bowel disease can be Crohn's, can be ulcerative colitis, but I will more. I am in favor of uh, ulcerative colitis. 
Thank you very much.